Hi guys, it's Maddie Husky here, sophomore outfielder at UW, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to make black bean taquitos. I'm a little nervous because I've never done this before. For the taquitos, you're gonna need a can of black beans, a can of diced green chilies, corn to your liking, some shredded jack cheese that I need to shred. There's more right here. And corn tortillas. First thing you guys need to do is drain your filling for the taquitos. So I'm gonna pour my black beans and my green chilies and my corn into the strainer. And I'm letting that drain so it doesn't make the taquitos soggy. So while the insides of the taquitos are draining, um, I'm going to shred my jack cheese that will go inside the taquitos as well. Now my filling is drained and I've put it in a mixing bowl and I've seasoned it with paprika, garlic powder, and cumin. And there's the jack cheese I shredded and it shredded a lot more than I expected, but it'll work. So here's the filling and now we're gonna mix and mash it. This is why I lift weights, so I can mash beans for taquitos. Here's the filling. It's the beans, corn, chilies, and spices mushed together. And then we're gonna fill the tortilla with it and then roll it up like a taquito. An important thing you do before you get started is to make sure you warm up your tortillas. So I like to put my corn tortillas, I put four at a time in a dish towel. And then I fold it up and then I throw it in the microwave for one minute to make sure they get extra soft and they don't crack when you roll them. The reason why I like these taquitos is because one, they're tasty, but two, um, the black beans are high in fiber and in protein. And when you mix black beans and corn tortillas, it actually makes a complete protein, which is a protein that has all nine essential amino acids. Also, before um, filling your taquitos, you wanna basically line a baking sheet or a baking pan with olive oil. And this is where you're gonna put the taquitos. So I warmed my tortillas and now I'm going to fill it with the filling. Put a little bit of jack cheese in there too. So what I do is I just do a little spoon of the filling, like so. So, can you see that? And then I do a little bit of jack cheese. So, oops, spread that out on there. Okay, and then you want to roll it really tight and you warm it up for a minute so it doesn't crack. Because if it cracks, it'll be no good. So then you roll it super tight and voila, you've got a taquito. Okay, and then I'm gonna place it on my baking sheet. Okay, now that you've filled all your taquitos and lined your baking pan, you're gonna drizzle the taquitos with some olive oil to give them that good crispy texture while in the oven. So I put them in my oven, preheated at 425, and I'm gonna put them in there for 25 minutes. So while the taquitos are in the oven, I'm also gonna make a side of fajitas. So I'm just gonna chop up some bell peppers and some onions, and then I'm gonna throw them on the pan. Okay, I've chopped my bell peppers and now I'm gonna throw them in my pan. It's been heating, oops, heating on medium heat for about five minutes. You see that? You see that goodness? Taste the rainbow, okay? Taste the rainbow. So now I'm gonna season my rainbow bell peppers with garlic powder and red chili powder. My rainbow peppers have a good, nice char to them. And now I'm just waiting for the taquitos in the oven. Okay guys, the whole meal is done. So I've warmed up some leftover Spanish rice. There's my rainbow peppers right there. And the taquitos baked at 425 for about 25 to 30 minutes. Here's the finished dish. Let me know if you guys try it out and thanks for watching.